And we start off with City News. New York City Mayor Eric Adams unveiled Get Stuff Clean Thursday, which is an effort to clean more than 1,000 neglected areas across New York City. The mayor stated, quote, America's biggest city is going to be America's cleanest city. We're investing more than $14 million in fiscal year alone to participate in the largest cleanup effort in decades. The effort will consolidate citywide cleaning functions across different departments, from sanitation to transportation, all the way to parks. In other news, Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson provided a contribution to help prioritize tech equity in the Bronx Aerospace Academy. Our Bronx Net reporter, Brittany Schuyler Aubain, brings us the details. As a part of National Digital Inclusion Week, Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson joined District 8 Superintendent Faya Davis, Bronx Aerospace Academy Principal Jose Zayas, and several students at the school to announce a generous allocation. We just want to show our love to the Bronx Aerospace High School with an allocation of $163,000. The allocation will go toward laptops, headsets, Wi-Fi, robotics kits, and 3D printers, which will help set students up for success academically, but will also prepare them for careers in technology, engineering, and aviation. As BP Gibson mentioned, far too often, black and brown students are at a disadvantage due to a lack of adequate preparation. Now, she is taking the steps necessary to ensure Bronx students are not affected by tech inequalities. When our students of color are given access and opportunities, they will truly, truly succeed. But unfortunately, that is not always the reality for so many of our young adults. Cleta Del Titus, co-founder of the United Youth Aviators, was also in attendance with some of his students to support the allocation and learn more about Bronx Aerospace Academy. Titus mentioned how important the contribution is because the biggest obstacle for potential students is the hefty price tag. When you have programs like this that start these kids based on scholarship, you know, I guess oriented, then you, it really helps them break that barrier. And I believe that's where the barrier comes from us in the inner city community for black and brown, like you say, because we don't have the money to get exposed to this industry. It's a very costly one. Bronx Aerospace Academy, located in the Gun Hill section of the Bronx, focuses its curriculum on technical training with concentrations in engineering, aviation, and computer science. United Airlines captain and instructor with the United Youth Aviators, Alan Forgené, mentioned that some of the students already have their private pilot license, which he says is admirable. Now that I'm here, and these two gentlemen have devoted so much time and effort to creating this program, I think that this next generation of, of students becoming adults can pursue this career in a, in a very you know, successful man. As the borough president works to continue breaking accessibility barriers, the future of flight is in great hands. Reporting for BronxNet, Brittany Schuyler. And thank you, Brittany. That is all the time we have for our Bronx updates. We have to take a quick break, but we do have more open when we return.